Hi everybody, it's Paige Mises here, back with um, Super Flat Survival. I'm currently outside in an odd, odd um, outside during the day in an odd divergence from what I normally do. I think I was getting wheat to trade with someone, but I can't be sure. It has been a week since I've last played it. Cause I, I last time I did. Um, did a load of stuff off screen, I ended up dying the second I came on screen. So, just trying to avoid a run of bad luck, especially seeing as I haven't, I've only died once so far. I guess <laughs> the death counter must be getting incredibly bored. I'll just gather some more wheat, then I'll get in as soon as things start spawning. I believe I've already ransacked those smithies. Excuse me while I just check. Yes, I put a lo load of crap I didn't need in there. Right. Let's get inside quickly. More wheat. In case I get stuck in here with a f in hen in hen eh? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah. That was lucky. You can't have that extra wheat though. Oh, what else are you gonna give me? I don't have a bow yet, but that is incredibly useful. I could probably make a bow if I kill another spider, but I need that for wool. That oh, what the hell. Nice. A good use of emeralds there. And also, um, Welcome new subscribers. Um, I've had a couple more in the past week or so. So hello everyone. It's still incredibly strange seeing people subscribe to me. But awesome, it's very much appreciated. I'm having it's <laughs> I better shut up before I make an embarrassment of myself. But then there'll be 30 minutes of absolute silence. Hmm. Is there any spiders close to us? Because I have the wood. Um, no workbench though. Oh, what the hell. Um, also for the new subscribers who may or may not have watched any of this, the, this is just kind of like a little challenge thing that I made up myself. Basically in super flat survival, trying to super in super flat um, survival mode, trying to gain enough diamonds and wool and wood to make a bed and diamond armor. Oops. Uh, this is the second series of it. I did a first one in Ordinary Super Flat, then this is the Desert World. I'm going to be doing a different one when and if I complete this, or if I rage quit like I did with the first series. Hopefully I won't have to rage quit, because I'm so close to getting a bed. And there are no spiders close to me whatsoever. Which is bloody typical. Come here, Mr. Spider. Come here. That's it. Woo! Awesome. 
and I also wanted to make a diamond thing, but I don't have enough. I thought I did have enough. Hmm. And here we have a library. <coughs> Sorry. What do you got for us? I already have lots of bread. I don't really need an axe, seeing as I can't Blake Blake, seeing as I can't break blocks, and also I can't talk. Hmm. I thought I had five diamonds. Maybe maybe I just imagined it. Oops. Making a bed entirely wrongly. Where'd that door come from? I was going to make something else, but I'm completely spacing. Oh yes, I was going to make a bow, but I don't have enough wood for it. Oh yes, I can use the rest of my wheat up. Oh, nope. Go away. Yes, uh, also new subscribers, I do have quite a lot of brain farts. And there's apparently a rave going on in the pub. Unless something's gotten in there. But I'm sure as hell I'm not checking it out. Oh, hello you. Nope, you can go away. You can too. Oops. And this is where things go horribly, horribly wrong. Yes, you'll get in there. Oh, I love you forever. Nope. Oh god, so many zombies in houses. Uh huh. Damn it. did a zombie get in there anyway? It's turned all the testificates into zombies. Yeah, I don't think so. Right, and now they're now f and now they're now far enough away. And hooray, it's morning. Mr. Creeper. I'd very much appreciate it if you could blow up the bed for me. Nope, where have you gone? Damn creepers. There you go. Proceed. No, I'm still here. Oh god damn it. How did you miss? Well, that's going to be fun to respawn. Right, I can't remember what way I approached this. I suck. Uh, yeah, I came up... Oh, uh, yeah, I came from that direction. Because I made a crack about there being a well. So, yep, this way. Hmm. 
think I am just going to grab a few bits from this chest, some more wood, or some more saplings as a just in case. Do not need the seeds. Do not really need a potato, seeing as I can't cook anything. And don't need the bones. I have plenty of bone meal. Now I've got sand. I won't need sandstone. Not quite sure what I've got the obsidian for. Maybe I can make an ender chest out of it at some point. Anyway, wasting daylight. Let's get going. Ever really going to need redstone? Well, but at least I've got a bed. Even if I can't take it with me. I suppose I could always just cheat, but I cheated in the last episode, and we should have one where I don't break a block. Let's um, talk about anime. And after the aircon thing, I'm going to choose. After, in the wake of the aircon, sorry. How the hell am I gonna? Bleh. In the wake of the New Year's aircon thing, this is going to be a very highly controversial choice of anime. Let's talk about Digimon. I said in the. Um, latest aircon episode that I liked Digimon since um over Pokemon and it caused a little bit of backlash because most of the people in there are Pokemon fans. It's like, I've got nothing but let the records say I've got nothing against Pokemon. I own I think Pokemon White and I've played some of the games, I've watched the anime, but I prefer Digimon just mainly because of the the story arcs that they have in Digimon appeal to me, rather than a story about a young boy trying to become a master Pokemon tamer breeder whatever. It's always about like saving the world and teaming up and stuff, rather than tournament arcs. I found those quite boring. So yeah. Digimon. Um, I'll talk about the first series in this one and then the second series in the next episode and then take a break and talk about the other one and then take a break talk about a couple of different animes then do um, tamers and savers I'm not recognising Digimon Frontier as a series, I hate that one anyway yes, Digimon the start of the thing, it's a uh, seven kids at summer camp with strange um, environmental things happening like it um, suddenly starts snowing in the middle of Japan in the summer which everyone finds weird and they receive these that is a lot of cactuses they receive these tiny little devices that are called digivices and they get sucked into the digital world where they meet um, Digimon, which is short for Digital Monsters, because um, I guess this isn't really much to suppose. The, dig um, the digital world is basically made up of computer code. It's a parallel universe to our own, um, and everything there is made out of code, uh, including the monsters there. So they each receive um, their own Digimon. I am not even gonna. I can. Yeah. Oh, more shoes just in case. Um. But the um. So they each end up having a little bond partner called a Digimon, which can evolve and then devolve after battles to different levels. So they all start off in their in training mode. Yeah, they're in training mode. This is going by the English uh, version because that's what I saw first. I saw the dub, which is really a good a, which for an early dub was quite good. 
I mentioned it in a uh, previous season. Uh, I thought that was quite a good example of a dub because although they changed some of the names, they just made them like mm. nicknames rather than completely changing changing the name to make it sound more western. If you know what if you know what I mean. Um but yeah. So you've got the seven kid, Ty um you've got Ty, Matt, Sora, um Izzy, Mimi, Joe and TK. All basically trying to survive in the digital world and the first twelve episodes are like a little mini uh, like a little mini arc almost to see how well the the whole thing's gonna go. It's all quite insular, but you can see there's sort of a, a much bigger world out there. And then, then um, after the first twelve ep twelve episodes, you get a uh, longer arcs and a lot more interesting reveals. Um, some new characters come along. That the number of Digimon there are is just mental. I think it's there's well over a thousand, well over a thousand um, varieties of Digimon. Um, it's <laughs> and I'll name all one thousand for you. No, I won't. Uh, what else can I say about Digimon? Oh, originally, basically, it was invented as a Tamagotchi type thing for boys, which you can kind of see in the in the Digivice. It does look a bit like a fancy Tamagotchi. Uh, I did own a Digivice from the second series, Tamagotchi Pet, just because I'm a huge nerd. That was. Cool. I like the second series, although the, I do t do have some problems with it. Uh, don't really have all that many problems with the first series. I thought that was for a first series. It, I think it did things well. It's just that my general bugbear is just the fact that the two. It's just the fact that Ty and Matt all get completely do tend to be a bit god modeish. I don't like god modes that have powers that the rest of the party don't have I always like a, I always like things to be balanced because if someone's got the ability to do something then another person I, I don't mean that. what am I trying to say basically all Digimon have got the same potential to reach the same level which they they start off from Digi Egg uh, Baby, In Training, Rookie Champion Perfect and Mega but half of the time you don't even see like the mega forms or sometimes even the perfect forms of some people um some people's digimon which i find a bit annoying just because it's like oh yes everyone can reach this thing but we're only going to show you the main twos the main twos uh digivolutions And that's one of the things I have wrong. I have a problem with in Frontier, and also with Zero Two. But enough. I'll talk about those when I get to them. I'm just going to wait here for a moment and see if I can lure a creeper inside the, in the inside the temple. Do what I did last week. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown out the sandstone because the sand is just going to fall on the floor. But oh well. I should have enough to get down there. Do I have any dirt? No, I don't. Damn it. Okay, here. Creeper, 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 creeper. Oh. And there are no creepers anywhere. Oh, hang on. There's a couple. Looks like there's a village just over there. Or is that just cactus? 
Oh no, it's a well. Or another temple. Definitely a building of some sort. Building off the port bow. You following? Yep. Excellent, excellent. Zip, keep it coming. Just there, please. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Good, some more wool. Okay, let's do this. It's one block of all. Trying to be really careful because I don't want to trigger that pressure plate off because that's what killed me the first thing. Oh, damn it. And I can't break the... Damn! I keep forgetting about my restrictions. Thank you, Creeper. I now have enough sandstone to get myself to the bottom. I also think I've blocked in a chest. Curses. Nope, that's still reachable. That's full of crap. less crap. That's actually useful. Yeah. And that similarly has not that great uh, stuff. What am I stuck on? Oh, for goodness sake. I keep getting stuck on things. Oh, hell's bells. Damn it. Uh, I'm going to have to cheat, otherwise... Enjoy several more episodes of me just standing here. I will sacrifice some iron. I make a sacrifice of iron to the Minecraft gods. Oh. Yeah, I saw you there, zombie. I see what you did there. Trying to sneak up behind me, were you? You can get out of it. Awesome. Now to get more wood. Right, let's escape. Get over to the little cluster of buildings I saw over there. Could possibly be another village or it's just a well. Yep, just a well. And I'm now doing what I said I wouldn't do, which is running around like an idiot at night time. Give me some strings so I may make a bow. Woo, levels! Don't even know what the hell I'm going to do with them. Eat something, because I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Ha, another one. Let's let's keep going. Um I'm not sure how long I've been recording for. But let's 
get a creeper. You there. Yes, the green fellow. Stand in the middle, please. Good job. Balls. I just said one person. One creeper. I didn't say a whole bloody army of them. Plump. Let's see what we've got here. Some more iron. Always useful. Uh, emerald. Ooh! Three diamonds. I can make something. A pile of the weight. Some diamond armor. And that's just full of crap. Right, let's empty the inventory because it's getting a bit cluttered. Don't need spider's eyes. <laughs> Don't need hiccups. Definitely do not need hiccups. Not sure what I'm going to do with gunpowder, but always useful to keep it because I can always place blocks. And I won't need to lure creepers into places anymore. Keep the bone meal, keep the saplings. Yeah, that's. About it, I reckon. And then let's get the hell out of here before something else drops on my head or oh, knocks me in. And then we have beautiful daylight. Nope, you can bugger off. Obviously he didn't bugger off fast enough. Well, that was quite a productive episode once I get to... Uh, I think I'll keep going until I get to a village and then make... I think I either have enough for a helmet or a pair of boots. I think I'll go with a helmet because then I've got one left over. What's in the worst shape? No, the helmet is. Of course I could always fix it with the head pot I've got in my inventory, but... Diamonds! They are indeed a girl's best friend. Come on. Let's get to a village. There are a ridiculous amount of cactuses at the moment. I'm also quite possibly going the wrong way. Oh well. Come on, I didn't tell you to stop sprinting. Come on, village, 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 village. Let's just check either side. Sometimes I miss villages that way. That looks like someone was trying to make a wall out of cactuses. barrier. Of course. I really don't know why I'm carrying the food in the ninth slot, seeing as I don't even have a full full bar down there. Like just force of habit. Come on, I'm 
supposed to be sprinting. Hmm. I think what I'll do, because I'm not sure how long I've been recording for, is just pause pause recording here, then start up again when I get to a village. So I will see you guys in a second. And we have found a village after about a half a day's worth of running. Uh, also found another, um, I was about to say jungle temple, but there's no jungle here. Um, so I've found another village. Uh, my game freezes. And there's a guy trying to kill himself on a cactus. And a guy did kill himself on a cactus despite my trying to rescue him. No thanks, I do not need iron trousers. Also don't need shears. You, what do you want? I do not need that. I do not need your services, good man. Also, they have a smithy, so we'll raid the smithy, then we'll go and make make some armour. Yay! And can't even get in through the doorway. Oh my god! Oh my god! Dermans! That's nine! I could make a breastplate. Or some other stuff. Let's see, helmet. Ooh, I feel tingly. Is er good? I think this is almost this is almost too easy doing it in a in the desert. But oh well. Yes. Right. Either a breastplate or a hat. Actually, let's make let's do a two for one. Make a hat and some boots. <laughs> and an audience is watching me. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. All bow before the page. Oh, another test of committing suicide. You'd think they'd learn not to jump on those. Oh, you're a shears guy. Oh, what is going on there? Oh, that's hilarious. Perfectly aligned houses. Ah, oh, this must be a village full of nosy parkers trying to sp trying to spy on their neighbours. I see how it goes. A lot of you people selling shears. Don't know where the heck I'd get fish from. Tell me, where do I get fish from? I suppose in there, but... Really? Really? But anyway, um, let's end the episode here, because... Da -da -da -da. End on another happy note. I suppose I can throw those away. But anyway, I'm Page of Maces. TTFN